session. My name is Pritesh and welcome to yet another fantastic, fabulous and fantabulous session by Vedantu 9th and 10th English. I'm your host, your host and a proud master teacher from Vedantu. Welcoming you to your grade 9 very interesting, a little lengthy but very informative chapter tissues where today we'll be talking about plant tissues. So, uh, plant tissues uh, ke mein we'll be learning today in this session. And uh, you know everything from xylem, phloem, parenchyma, cholenchyma, chlorenchyma, sclerenchyma, sclerenchyma uh, all of these, the parts of the xylem, parts of the phloem, all of that we'll be learning in this session today. So uh, let us quickly begin the learning. But uh, before that, yeah, so I just have to move the screen a bit. Yeah, yeah. So now it's all set. So my name is Pritesh, as you can uh, see on the screen, and this is some information about I, me, myself. You can follow me on my Insta handle at Pritesh underscore Vedantu. Okay? So let us begin. What is a tissue? So basically, as you know that every organism is made up of cells. So cells combine to form tissues. Tissues combine to form organs. Organs combine to form organ system. And all the organ systems together make the organism. So cell, a tissue is a cluster of cells which have similar structure and they perform a similar function because all of them are made of the same kind of cells. So one tissue will perform one particular function because it is made of the same type of cells. Then structural organization. A cell forms a tissue, forms an organ, forms an organ system, forms an organism. Plant versus animals. So the difference between plant and animal tissue is that animal tissues are far more complex because animals move around. Plus, animals have a very complex uh, metabolism. They have many complex processes going on in their body. And that is why animal tissues are far complex as compared to plant tissues. Plants, on the other hand, they cannot move. And there are very numbered processes going on in the plants like transpiration, uh, photosynthesis, respiration. Then, this is in simple plants. If we go to more complex plants, then there is flowering, there is reproduction, pollination, fertilization, etc. etc. But simple, if you see, it's only transpiration, photosynthesis and respiration. Growth, uh, 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 you know, shedding of leaves and all that comes as a byproduct of these processes. So, usually plants have dead tissues and animals have living tissues. Plant energy needs are less because the processes, the movements happening in the plants are less. Animal's energy need is far higher. Plants growth is restricted towards the tip. So plant usually grow, grows like this. Plant usually grows like this. But humans or animals, they will grow from everywhere. Even after reaching the age of 18, even though you are not growing vertically or horizontally, but your body is aging. So aging is again a type of growth over here. When I talk about plant tissues, I have got two main types of tissues, meristematic and permanent tissues, right? So meristematic tissues are the tissues which are always growing, whereas permanent tissues are ones which do not grow. So meristematic tissues, may I have got a pical meristem, intercalary meristem and lateral meristem. Whereas in permanent, I have got xylem and phloem, right? So meristematic tissue are the growth tissues. They will always keep on growing. Right? Whereas your permanent tissues include xylem and phloem. Right? These are your permanent tissues which do not grow, which are meant for carrying out the different processes. So when I talk about meristematic tissues, so suppose if I draw a plant, here on the tip, I have got a pical. Here, I have got intercalary. And here, I have got the lateral. So, lateral grows the plant in width. A pical grows the, grows the plant in length. And between the nodes, there is the intercalary tissue, which gives rise to the different buds and branches. Meristematic tissues. So, meristematic tissues are responsible for the growth. They can divide and form new cells. So the other name for meristematic are the dividing tissues. So your meristematic are the dividing, these are the non-dividing, right? Characteristics of meristematic tissues are that they rapidly uh, divide, they have thin cell walls, they have a prominent nuclei, 
dense cytoplasm and usually lack vacuoles. So these are the growing cells. These are the dividing cells and that is why they undergo rapid cell division. They have a very thin cell wall because their function is not protection. Their function is not, uh, you know, support. Their function is just growth. So they have a very thin cell wall. They have a very prominent nuclei. Now, if you look at this point, prominent nuclei, the reason behind that is that these tissues, they have some continuous activity to perform. And for that activity to perform, they need to be very, very efficient. And that is why these tissues have got a prominent nucleus because nucleus is the CPU. They have a very dense cytoplasm with mitochondria and organelles and they lack vacuole. They do not have a vacuole. A pipal meristem. It is located at the tip of the root and the shoot. It increases the length of the root and the stem. Lateral meristem. It is on the lateral sides. It increases the girth of the root and the stem. So basically see all these. So the plant has become from this to this. It is because of lateral meristem. And final, you have got the intercalary. Again, the screen got stuck. So intercalary is present between the nodes. Just a minute. Yeah. Intercalary is at the internodes at the base of the leaves. It increases the length of the internodes and increases the length of the leaves. So as you can see, intercalary, intercalary is present over here. So here it will increase the growth of the leaf. It will increase the length of the nodes. So that is apical, lateral and intercalary. Then these are the three types of meristematic tissue. Then we have also got something called as the permanent tissue, which are the non-dividing ones. Now these permanent or the non-dividing tissues, they are only meant for transportation because their job is to not grow. Their job is to not see what is happening outside to the plant. Their job is to maintain the insides. It's like your blood vessels. Now you grow tall, you grow short, you grow, fra you grow fat, you grow thin. The blood vessels will do their job, right? So basically they are the permanent tissue, which are the xylem and the phloem, about which we'll be learning in the next session. Before that, what we did in today's session, we learned what is the difference between plant tissue and animal tissue. We also learned about the types of plant tissue that is meristematic and permanent. Under meristematic, I've got apical, lateral and intercalary. Under permanent, I've got xylem and phloem, right? So I want you to solve a quiz which is given in the description of this video in the description box. Solve the quiz and see how much have you understood about tissues. This particular chapter tissues, it is a little lengthy as I told in the beginning and there are a lot of terms to be remembered. So for that, it is very important that you study this chapter bit by bit by bit by bit. Because if you try to complete the entire chapter in one go first time, then it gets a little difficult. When you are already well aware of the chapter and you have done it two, three times, then it becomes a little easier. So do the quiz and you can learn with me and all your amazing teachers of Vedanta 9th and 10th, whether it is Abhishek sir, Hashpiyam sir, Amrit sir, Anubha ma'am, Ankara ma'am, or whether it is, uh, you know, Anup sir, Bhavna ma'am, or uh, Shilpi ma'am, Sana ma'am, or myself, or there are so many, I don't even remember the names, there are so good teachers, Amit Rora sir. If you want to learn from these teachers at a very, very nominal rate, that is only rupees 20 per day. For English, Math, Science and SST, only rupees 20 per day then you must take the Vedantu uh, AI Live classes where you are getting to learn for only rupees 8,100. So the actual cost of the course is rupees 9,000. But once you put the coupon code PREPRO, you only pay rupees 8,100 for the entire year. This cost of 8,100 is only is for the entire year. You can play, your, the, there are different modes of payment. You can pay through the card, net banking, phone pay or UPI. ATM, Amazon Pay or Mobibay. So there are different ways through which you can pay and you can take the benefit. I would encourage all of you to enroll for the AI that is Augmented Interactive Live classes because in these classes, you get live doubt solving in the class. You get live quizzes and leaderboard. You get All India Test Series. You get assignments and notes and you also get the study material PDF. And if you want to go a step further, you can take the Vedantu Pro Lite, which is for rupees 35,000. Again, if you put the coupon code PREPRO, you only pay rupees 32,000. And in that, you get live discussion also. 
and if you want to learn from your favorite teacher live one on one then you can take the vedantu pro classic for 45000 even in that if you put the coupon code you pay only rupees 40500 and in that you get post doubt solving and parent teacher sessions as well so these are the different programs that vedantu is offering remember whether it is any program or any type of a course that you take if you put this coupon code you will get a flat 10% off so this coupon code is something that you must share with everyone those who are willing to learn from vedantu right also guys do not forget to take the quiz do not forget the coupon code and with that we come to the end of the session where we learned a little bit about tissues picture abhi baki hai there is a lot more that we have to learn about tissues we have to learn about permanent tissues and then when we move to animal tissues then the journey is going to be a little longer because then we have to learn about the skin the bone the blood the you know so many different types of tissues you know the different organs the different types of tissue glandular ciliated simple epithelium squamous epithelium there is a lot to learn but we will do it together because jab padega india tabhi to badega india so guys with that this is pitesh your host your those and a proud master teacher from vedantu signing off for now only to see you really soon till then take care of yourself god bless you bye bye